listen, I'll, I'll give you conversations that Mark Barber and I have had many times over. Um, yes, we, we know under our consent order there's a lot of money that's spent for testing, $8,000 annually. Mm -hmm. But that has been invaluable to us, to you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to people that want to get on that. I want to check before I get on it. Due, due, to right. a, due to a natural brain event or otherwise. So they have been invaluable, and I'll now say hindsight, it's worth every penny. And it's, it really helps that we're now getting those results in a timely manner. There's still a little lag again on the on Ballast's website. I don't know what's with that, but I'm sure that will improve too. Good. Because, that, again, that involves public. They can, they can actually go check. And this is great PR for the city of Valdosta that I keep telling Richard Hardy because uh, this is evidence that most of what gets into the river is not coming from Valdosta. It's also evidence that that last little 200-gallon uh, spill over on Bay Tree Road probably never even got in the river. We, we hope not disinfectant measures and otherwise, we hope not, but boy, 